Hello guys, welcome to DTW Tutorials, welcome. So in today's video, we're going to be treating calculus and on that calculus, we're going to be looking at the rules of differentiation, alright? So we're going to be treating several rules, I'm going to be taking them one video after another, okay? So today we're looking at direct rule, okay? And before we get on to the video, if it's your first time on this channel, DTW Tutorials and Educational Channel on YouTube, where we support students with free videos on maths and physics, okay? We support them in their education, with their jam their exams and also helping them to get to know maths better okay and please if it's your first time please try to click the subscribe button all right it's absolutely free to subscribe and please give this video a thumbs up and also share this video with your friends family and loved ones please share this channel so it could grow more and also if you have any questions feel free to comment uh, below all right in the comment section just go down a bit and you can uh, drop your your questions all right and please please just try to engage on this video as, as it helps in promoting this video on youtube i would love that support please it is absolutely free to subscribe let's get on to the video now all right so we're looking at the rules of differentiation which is direct rule all right and um one more thing after the end of this uh, differentiation i will be giving out a quiz all right and uh, i think i'm just going to accept response for about maybe one hour after the quiz after i upload notify you that the quiz is up so you could try out several questions on uh, focusing on jam all right but you know differentiation worldwide is still the same it's still the same format of questions once you understand the rules of this differentiation any question around the world all right you can still apply all right the, the rules to it so the quiz would also help you out in prepping for your exams all right so okay so under the direct rule we're going to be looking at the differentiation of uh, algebraic functions that's uh, what we'll focus on but i'll do a bit of trigonometric uh, trigonometric functions all right okay so for the direct rule when you have if y is equal to x raised to the power n then the derivative of this particular uh, expression, the algebraic function, is what? The y, the x, is equal to what? n would multiply whatever coefficient of x. Right now, the coefficient of x here is 1. So this will be what? n, what? n times 1. Okay? Then multiplied by what? x. Then raised to the power n minus 1, the power will be reduced by 1. So here, what are we left with? The derivative of, derivative of this particular expression is what? n times what? n, sorry, x raised to the power n minus 1, which is the same as n x raised to the power n minus 1. So this is the derivative of this function, uh, this particular function. So whenever you have, um, let's say for instance, for an example, if uh, y is equal to x raised to the power 6, okay, the derivative of this is for dy, sorry, dy, the x is equal to what? This will be what? 6 times 1. The coefficient here is 1, all right? So 6 times 1, times x raised to the power 6 minus 1 okay so here where we have 6 then times x which will be what x then 6 minus 1 is what 5 so this is what our derivative of this particular word function right okay then again when you have something like this let me explain this further if y is equal to a x raised to the power n now you can see you have a visible coefficient here as i spoke here we had like an invisible coefficient which was one all right but to explain further here so dy the x so from here what would happen as earlier stated so we have what a times what n then times x raised to the power n minus 1. Is that not it? Okay, so where we have finally what? A n x raised to the power what? n minus 1. Okay, that's the y dx. Okay, which is almost the same thing I explained here. Now, for an example, e.g. If we have, if we have 5 x raised to the power 3, what will be the de de derivative of this particular expression? Okay, so it would be what? This would be what? 
5 times 3, okay, you multiply this, that's 5 times 3, then times x raised to the power 3 minus 1. And what would this give us? What is 5 times 3? That would be what? 15. And x, we have 3 minus 1, which would be 2. So we have what? We have a remainder of what? x raised to the power 2. So this will be the answer, okay? The derivative of this particular expression here. Okay. And also note also, when you have y is equal to 3, with 3, which is a constant, not an algebraic expression, okay, or an algebraic function, all right, when you have a constant, then your dy, the x, is equal to what, zero, okay, so when you are given anything and like, okay, what, uh, y is equal to 100, what is the derivative of this, it's just simply dy, the x, is equal to what, zero, because this is a what, a constant, not an algebraic what, expression, okay, so, all right, so this is another one. Are we noting this? Noting this, okay? So I think, um, yeah, the next one and the final one, which I would explain in detail again, is if you have y is equal to 1 over x raised to the power n. Okay, remember in indices, I've treated indices on this uh, particular channel. Remember in indices, when you have 1 over x raised to the power n, it's equal to what? x raised to the power minus n, bringing this xn upward. The sign, the sign of the power will change to what? A negative sign. Okay? And in differentiating this, which is what? y is equal to x minus n. In differentiating this, the y dx is equal to just the same way we differentiated in, this, in the earlier one. It will be what? Minus n. This has a coefficient of an invisible one here, so we can either put it minus n times 1 or just leave it blank, okay? So minus n times what? x raised to the power minus n minus 1. We are still going to do what? A mind, we are still going to take away 1 from the power. You are not going to add. You are taking away 1 from the power. Always remember differentiation, your powers, you always take away 1. But for integration, which is the uh, reverse of what um, differentiation, you add 1 to the power. Okay? Don't worry, during integration, we're also going to see that. So from here, what, what do we have? We have a minus n, x minus uh, n uh, minus and minus what that's we have a minus n minus one so this would be what the derivative of this what particular function now let's do an example okay okay let's uh, let me use this space i don't want to erase any of anything here so i don't want to erase anything so let's use this space here okay okay so for example let's say we have y is equal to 1 over x raised to the power 3. Okay, so you simplify this by saying what it's equal to what x raised to the power minus 3. Taking x, x raised to the power 3 upward, the sign what changes to negative. Remember your indices. Now from here, we have y is equal to what x raised to the power minus 3. Then dy, dx, what would this give us? This will give us what minus 3. Okay, there's a coefficient of what 1 here, minus 3 times x raised to the power minus 3 minus 1. Okay, don't forget, please, when it comes to, uh, when I notice um, when I'm um, going through students' work, uh, their, their work, okay, they always make this mistake of when, you, when they have an inverted um, um, algebraic, um, like a fraction, algebraic fraction, okay, when they bring it up, they now, when, when differentiating, they make it a plus 1, the power, they add 1 to the power. No, you have to well, subtract 1. So from here, what do we have? We have a minus 3 times what? What is minus 3 minus 1? That will give us a minus 4. So it is x raised to the power, what? Minus 4. So you can't leave your answer like this, okay? You have to see simplify further by taking this your power, your x raised to the power minus 4 to your what denominator. So what do we have here? We have equal to our dy, the x is equal to what minus 3 over what x raised to the power 4. Alright, so this is the answer. Okay, so let us do another example. Okay, I would have to erase something now. Let us do another example. Alright, so let's say, I hope we 
or should I leave this? Let me leave this and erase something else. Okay, let me leave this, erase something else. So you still see this. Okay, so let me erase this. Let me erase this. Okay, so so we have this erase, 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 erase. Okay, so let's say we have this. Y is at least algebraic function. Y is equal to what? 4x squared minus 2 over x squared. Okay, how do we do this now? So our dy dx now, it is easy for us to what? Differentiate this. Is that not it? So we have dy dx is equal to differentiation. Differentiation of this is what? 2 times 4. Is that not it? That's we have what? A 4 times 2 then times x 2 minus 1 the power 2 we what we subtract 1 from the power okay then we have a minus here we have to simplify this by taking this x raised to power 2 upward okay so we have minus 2 uh, x raised to power minus 2 okay so from here we can easily get our answer for this particular expression okay is what it's X, x raised to power x, um, x um, 2, we have a x raised to power 2 minus 1 will give us a 1, all right? That's x raised to power 1, which we can just leave as what x, 8x, okay? So from here, to differentiate this, what do we do? Let's put a minus, let's put a bracket here. So we have here, to, in differentiating this, 2x raised to power minus 2, we have here a what? We have a 2 times a minus 2, then times an x, raised to power minus 2 minus 1 okay that's what we have all right so here what do we have finally we have here okay let's sorry this is a negative sign so here this is a negative 2 times minus 2 will give us a minus 4 times what is uh this minus 2 minus 1 will give us what a minus 3 okay so what are we left with this is what open the bracket this will give us a minus 4 raised to uh, a minus 4x raised to power minus 3 so from here we have to open up this bracket is that not it remember we have an 8x here we have an 8x here so to open up this bracket this minus we multiply this minus and finally we have our answer as what 8x plus what 4 4x raised to power minus 3 and we can still leave our answer this way so our final answer will be what dy dx is equal to what 8x plus 4 divided by x raised to power 3. You must remove the negative sign, all right? You must take this particular power which is raised to a negative sign down, all right? That's the rule. When you're differentiating, you can't leave your answer this way. You must take the negative power down to the denominator which our answer becomes this so this is our answer uh, for this example all right and um, i said i'm going to discuss about a bit about trigonometric function functions so for trigonometric functions it's quite easy and straightforward when you have y is equal to a sine x okay the y the x of um, this particular trig function will give us what a cos x and also when you have can I put this close here? When you have, uh, let me put this down here, please. When you have a y is equal to what? A cos x. The y, the x is equal to a minus sine x. Okay? So, these are the, the derivatives of your trigonometric functions. Okay? And um, this is a direct rule, which is quite the simple one, the first rule which you have to know. You can also note when to apply the direct rule to some particular um, um, algebraic functions, okay? For here, for this example we did, you can see the operation binding these two algebraic expressions is what? A negative sign, okay? So you can use a direct rule there. If it's also a positive sign, you can use a direct rule. But if it's, an, it's, a multi, if it's multiplication, you can't use direct rule. That's when you talk of another rule, okay, which is a product rule. If it's a division sign, you can't use the direct rule to find derivative okay of this function you have to use the quotient rule so you have to know where to use the direct rule all right and if you have something like this which is uh, let's say x minus 1 all raised to power n you can't apply the direct rule you have to apply the word chain rule but for this let's say for instance you have an 4x 
square plus uh, 2 over 2 x minus 3 x raised to the power 6 you can apply what's the direct rule because the operations okay the mathematical operations binding them is a plus and what a negative a minus a subtraction sign that's your neg um, minus sign i mean okay so you can apply your direct rule on this but for others you have to apply other rules so we're going to treat those particular rules differently and i'll show you how to solve them okay thank you for staying tuned to the end of this video is quite a lengthy one but not too lengthy but i'm sure if you go through it if you go through it you should understand and if you go through it one more time you understand better and you can solve several examples on your direct rule or under the rules of differentiation on calculus all right so thank you for staying tuned as i said earlier earlier on there will be a quiz at the end of everything um, on on differentiation for you to try out all right so thank you don't forget to click the subscribe button and don't forget jesus christ is coming soon give your life to christ you are destined to win thank you see you in our next video